All right, so we're looking at decimals now in also fractions, because decimals are fractions. And we're looking at number lines and grids to help us with this. So first we've got this number line, and it's useful to kind of like see what's going on here. First of all, it's going from zero to one. <clears throat> and these large marks are gonna be your tenths, right? One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, and so on. And then the smaller marks, you can count them if you really want to, but there are 100 of these. 10 for each section. So those are your hundredths. So you have to look pretty closely to see these, but this one here looks like it is, <clears throat> um, here's 10, and this would be 16. So this one here is going to be 16 hundredths. But also take a note for the direction. It says use tenths when you can and hundredths when you must. So we have to use hundredths there. But this one here, that's an even tenth, right? So this is one tenth, two tenth. This one here is at three tenths. And I think you can figure out the rest <clears throat> on your own there. Uh, C would be a hundredth and D would be a tenth, right? And then <clears throat> you're going to move these same uh, things into a grid. So uh, 16 hundredths you can write there. And then you would fill in <clears throat> that much of your grid. And 16 hundredths would look like that. And as a fraction, you would write it like this. And then over here, you're going to write B, which is 3 tenths, the same one we had here, <clears throat> and fill it in. And 3 tenths, remember, you might think, oh, 3, there it is. But that would be 3 hundredths. 3 tenths would be 3 whole columns. So 3 tenths would look like that. And the fraction is going to be like that. <clears throat> and that should help you fill out the rest of these um, C and D on your own, I believe. Okay, then over here we're looking more at some more grids. So 4 tenths to fill in is going to look like that. 4 out of 10 columns there. And the other uh, <clears throat> fraction for that it's going to be out of hundreds, right? So four tenths would be how many hundreds? It's the same as 40 hundreds. And then you can write it as two decimals. You would have uh, 0 0.4, four tenths, or 40 hundreds. You can write it <clears throat> that uh, in those other ways. And then I think the other two you can do on your own. For part four, you can use these pictures to help you, right? Here's 20 hundredths, here's 4 tenths, which one is greater? 4 tenths is greater. Okay, and then you can look at all of your uh, things here to help you finish those. Then for 5 and 6, <clears throat> we have some more uh, comparisons here for number 5. And <clears throat> uh, I mean, you can look at this number line at the bottom to help you here. Like for example, uh, you might be like, oh, 89 is bigger than 9, so this must be greater than. But wait a second, this is 89 hundredths and this is 9 tenths. So on the number line, if we looked at that, we're zooming all the way in here, right? 89 hundredths is there and 9 tenths is there. So which one is greater? And how would you fill that in up here? And then you have some addition. We've done this before. Uh, I think it's pretty easy to see who made the mistake here. If you look and make sure this is tenths and hundredths. So... Uh, who's correct, first of all. And then um, to do the label sketch, we haven't done this before, but basically if you did 3 tenths plus 28 hundredths, just you can draw little arrows. So 3 tenths is here, right? So there's 3 tenths plus 28 hundredths is going to be right there. And that's how you can illustrate it on this one to show what the answer is. And yeah, that's your homework for decimals on number lines and grids. And thank you.